Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another crafting tutorial. And in today's video, I'm continuing with my series of my sci-fi colony with this hanger. Very cool, very simple. You can even open and close these doors if you want. Now, I will be making other videos in the sci-fi colony range, but today I'm going to show you how to be building this, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to take you to the crafting table and let's do this! Come on! Let's get building, my friends, and I'm going to start with thick single corrugated cardboard for this one. Now I'm going to take this plastic lid, but you can use a plate or whatever. Well, depends on however large you want your uh, hanger to be. Now this is uh, about 22 centimeters and I'm going to trace this lid twice on the cardboard. Now I'm going to draw a square around it and then I'm going to connect the corners so I can find the halfway point of the circle. Uh, then I'm going to draw a line there, a straight line. And then I'm going to cut out the two circles and then cut them in half as well where I marked out the center. Do that for all the pieces. And you'll end up with four equal pieces like this, which will be the main skeleton of the hanger. Now I'm gonna mark out the halfway point of the semicircle and measure five centimeters to the left and five centimeters to the right. Or however you, you however large you want your sliding doors or big doors to be and measure six centimeters up. Now cut out this rectangle you just made. I'm gonna use this as a template to create a second uh, se on the second semicircle. And the reason that I'm doing this, I want something for the doors to be sliding in and out. Now to do this, I'm gonna make sure that I cut both doors to fit within the doorway but I'm going to leave about one centimeter extra on the top of it. Mark that out and then snip that away. Like so. I cut a couple of uh, strips of cardboard and glue these between uh, the, the semi-circles. So I, I can attach them together and this will uh, be where I will insert my uh, sliding doors. Now next you want to cut yourself about four one centimeter cardboard strips about 24 centimeters long or as long however you want your hanger to be. Also cut a thick strip of cardboard that is the same length as the hanger but um, this is about four centimeters wide. Now I decided to cut a doorway in the center semicircle as well just in case I want to place in some vehicles or stuff like that. Now next I'm going to do is uh, hot glue the middle strip and then the two thinner strips on each side. Like so. Don't worry about the excess, we will snip that off later. Alright, I cut two more strips for door handles and trim off the excess uh, of the side of the strips here as well. There we go, dry fit the doors. Okay, I cut a cardboard strip to give some more support to the doors. So they won't fall out uh, when you pick up the terrain piece. Then hot glue this into position. Otherwise you're going to lose your doors rather quickly. Now place your doors in and glue a cardboard strip behind the door so they remain in line. And I'm later also going to do that in front. Just attach it to the back here, but leave enough room, okay? Now I'm going to take my roll of corrugated paper, measure it and mark it, and then cut it to size. And now it's simply a matter of fact to just uh, hot glue this on top of the skeleton of the hanger. Dry fit it, of course, first. And then take your hot glue and do this in small pieces. Don't rush this. Try to do it all at once because the glue will be dry before you reach the end. So do this in two maybe three steps okay I did it in three turns it's better this way now trim off the excess and that will leave you with an already pretty cool looking hanger 
All right, now I lost a bit of footage, but what I uh, did do was glue a door to the side and glue a frame around the sliding doors. And I also glued a cardboard strip in front so the sliding door would remain in uh, position, as you see here. And this is uh, the frame and this is the door, simple way that I just uh, did with the sci-fi buildings as well. Now I cut three cardstock strips of five centimeters wide and I punched rivets in it with my hole punch. Technique you see me do <laughs> so many times, but I really love it. It's so quick and easy. I'll do that on both sides of the strip, but leave a little bit of an overhang. Now first I'm going to glue down the middle part. Like so and then glue the other ones on top of it and trim off the excess. Cool. And as you can see, I left a little bit of an overhang. It's just to hide away the, the hot glue connection. I also hot glue a card piece here in front to represent a metal, a metal panel. And I start to add details with coffee lids, paper drinking straws and whatever you have in your bits box and, match you, and matches your uh, imagination of your uh, hanger. A few mosaic tiles uh, for some touch screens next to the door. Now I'm going to add some propane tank or something industrial at the back of the hanger to make it uh, a little bit more sci-fi. So I'm just using these uh, well, little bottles and I cut off the lid and uh, some plastic toilet roll holder. I will hot glue on top of it, a spray can lid wrapping around some cardstock strips to represent metal banding and then simply hot glue that to the back of the wall. But of course you can use whatever you have at your disposal of course. But I kind of like the look of this. Here I'm adding the spray can cap on top. Hot glue this to the back. There we go. Nice propane tank or whatever it's supposed to be. And I'm also gluing these two uh, vape bottles, which I cut off the top and then attach them together, stick them up here, attach uh, one of these nubbins to represent a valve. And then I simply start by gluing uh, paper drinking straws and uh, coffee lids to it, giving it that more industrial pipe feel. I don't know if it, what it's supposed to be, but uh, the hell with it, it looks cool, all right? <laughs> Nice. All right, time to cut a skylight window. So I cut a rectangle between the skeleton frame and then I glue a cardstock frame around the hole that I just cut, the same way I did around the doorway and uh, the sliding doors. Just cut uh, some cardstock strips and glue them down with hot glue, like so. And I decided to glue another cardstock strip on top of the roof, on top of the roof just for added detail. And this is what I've got so far. Time to paint it. Now I primed it black, oversprayed it with a gray primer and then a zenithal white spray. Basically the same way as I did my sci-fi hat blocks. This way they can blend in with the rest of my terrain. Now I paint everything I want metallic with a cheap silver craft paint. I'll stipple that on. It's not the best paint in the world, but it gets the job done. Don't want to... Uh, use expensive paints for this. Now the pipes I'm painting with red and black and the door frames a light blue or whatever fits your vision. A little bit of raid bone on the propane tank. Now if you wanted to you can give it a wash but I weather it by stippling on some brown paint and now for the window I'm gluing in this uh, blister uh, clear plastic blister pack that I cut from a uh, yeah, from a pack and to represent my window. Simply hot glue that on the inside and voila! Instant window and we are done! And here it is with the other buildings that we've made in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out, I would say. And while you're at it, hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing, you guys. <laughs> Alright, so thank you all for watching. I really appreciate all your support. And this won't be the last video in my uh, sci-fi colony uh, series. I have a few other things in mind that I want to make, so stay around for that. And yeah, I would say 
thank you all so very much again guys and i will see you on the next video okay bye for now bye